In this video, I will show you how to create Salesforce case for Google form submission automatically. So here a case means a customer query or a feedback or an issue which is created into the Salesforce and usually support team uses the cases to interact with the customers. And in this video, I will teach you that whenever any new query or an issue or a feedback is received via Google form submission, how you can add those queries as case into the Salesforce so that your support team can easily handle those cases those queries directly from the salesforce so if you also want to sync your queries with the salesforce case then come with me and i will show you everything step by step all right so this is my contact form and i would like to sync all the queries with the salesforce cases and in order to automate this process i'll have to build an integration in both the application with the help of pavli connect which is an integration and automation software and I'm an existing user so I'm already logged in. You can also create your free account in Pabli Connect in just two minutes from this sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free tasks to test this automation. Now once you will reach to the dashboard firstly click on this blue button that is create workflow and then provide a random name to your workflow to your automation. I have provided basically I have pasted the name as create salesforce case for google form submission now clicking on create and then you will notice two boxes in front of you okay so these are actually trigger an action and here the trigger means when this happens an action means do this so whenever this happens then automatically do this try to understand with an example also let's say whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application then automatically send an email via gmail application to your customers okay so this is how you need to always select the applications in which you are are building an automation so according to our use case whenever any new case any new query is submitted via google form okay is received via google forms then automatically add that query as a case into the salesforce okay so i have selected both the application in this trigger and the action window okay and now the idea here is i am going to connect both the applications one by one with this pavli connect okay so first select the trigger even that is new response received okay and here you will notice that as soon as I select the trigger event a webhook URL and few set of instructions will be received so basically with the help of this URL only we are going to build a connection in this Google Forms and Pabli Connect okay let me close this landing page at least for now okay so you will have to follow these instructions carefully one by one in order to build the connection okay let me show you firstly you will have to copy this webhook url go to your form okay and here you can notice i am into the editing mode click on this responses and then click on this view in sheet okay yes we are going to use this spreadsheet of this form in order to connect my google form with the public connect okay so this is the spreadsheet and let me first correct the formatting of this spreadsheet so that you can see the data very clearly okay so i hope everything is visible to you clearly all right so the formatting is done and firstly i am going to submit this form in front of you as a dummy user so that firstly the details can be captured into this spreadsheet and then i will show you how you can connect your google forms or you can say this spreadsheet with public connect or how you can send the data of this google forms to public connect okay so this is my form any query then contact us by filling out this form share your query and questions with us by filling out the form and someone from our team will contact you okay so assume that i I am a user and I have an issue with the product so that is why I am sharing my query with the team okay so here I will add some dummy details okay demo user is the name of the person demo at the rate pablitudes.com is the email address of the person again I am going to add some dummy phone number also asking for the city here I am going to mention Bhopal okay let me correct the spelling also asking for the query topic having an issue in my new earphones okay assume that the customer has just purchased the earphones for which he is actually sharing his query okay and here i am going to copy the same having an issue in my new earphones which i have bought from your store okay the one piece is not working there is no sound can you replace these earphones okay so assume that the customer has this particular issue 
let me also correct the spelling all right so i am submitting this form and firstly the details will of course be captured into the spreadsheet and now i will show you how you can connect spreadsheet and pably connect okay so simply copy this webhook url come back to your spreadsheet then click on extension click on addons click on get addons and here search for the pably connect webhooks addon first all right so i have searched for the same and here you can see that this addon is already installed into my account but make sure if you are building this connection for the first time the very first thing you'll have to do is to install this addon okay and once this addon is installed go to this extension and then you can find the same addon here click on initial setup and then here exactly we are going to paste the same webhook url which we have received via pably connect okay so firstly i am going to delete the existing data all right now i am pasting the same webhook url then it is asking for the trigger column okay so firstly read the instructions okay the trigger column will be your final data column on which the if the data is added the whole of that row data will be sent to the webhook url okay so basically it is asking to provide a column name on the filling of which this automation should trigger or we can say that data should be sent to pably connect okay so whenever a new form submission will be received that form data will be added into the rows one by one and that data will goes up to h column of course okay so that is why here since the h is the last data entry column i have specified the same basically i want that on filling of h this automation should trigger okay so i have clicked on send the test and here you can notice it is saying that the test data has sent successfully to the public connect okay so let me close this box and then i will show you the same data as a response okay so here you can notice that in this response we have received the same form data the same row data of the spreadsheet okay so same trigger column we have the timestamp we have the spreadsheet name we have the sheet name we have the row index we even have the query topic we even have the same phone number which we have provided at the time of form submission we have the name i'm sorry i have skipped this gender column okay don't worry about that i can recapture this data okay email address is also there description is also there and city is also there okay so i can do one more thing i can simply fill this particular data and then i am going to send this data to pably connect once again okay so assume that the person is actually female okay and now firstly you'll have to click on this recapture button okay make sure click on this recapture webhook response button and then you can click on extension clicking on pably connect webhooks initial setup okay and i think the details are already filled so directly click on the submit button i'm sorry not submit the send a test button and the data has been sent successfully waiting for the response to be received and here you can notice once again the response is received this time check whether the gender detail has been captured or not yes we have full data and the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in this form and this pably connect is working absolutely fine okay so now onwards what will happen every time someone is going to submit your google forms the detail of that form will be captured via pably connect instantly because this trigger will instantly capture the new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time okay so here you can notice the first step of our automation is done and now i want to send this data basically i want to send this particular query along with the customer information into salesforce so that i can sync those queries with the salesforce so that my team my support team can access this particular case and can solve the issue of the customer okay so searching for the action event that is create a record okay clicking on connect clicking on add new connection clicking on connect with salesforce and then i am going to provide the access of salesforce well it is not going to ask me the access because i am already logged in into the salesforce into a different tab okay so it is asking me for the permission directly which i have provided by clicking on allow and here you will notice that the authorization will be successful and your salesforce account will be also connected with the pably connect so here you can notice it is connected and the very first thing it is asking for the object okay on which particular object you would like to work upon say select the salesforce object in which a new record will be created okay so here i would like to create a case so that is why firstly as a salesforce object i am going to select the same and then it will ask you further details also okay something like okay wait for the response i'll show you something like the contact id the account id the asset id 
and multiple other IDs and the important thing is the name of the customer, the email address of the customer and the query description. Okay, the query description and the query subject here you can notice. Okay, so instead of providing the data in all the fields, I am going to provide the data only into the important fields. Okay, so let us provide the name of the customer. Basically, this case is submitted by which particular customer. Okay? Now, when I will click on this field, you will notice the same data of the form submission is visible here in the drop down. Okay, so I don't need to copy and paste the data manually from the above data and here I just need to map this data. Okay, and mapping is very simple. Click on this field and you will find the data here in the drop down. Select that data and this is how the value is mapped. And what is the importance of mapping? So whatever the details we will map here, these details will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time okay yes these details will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in next time in real time okay let us provide the most important thing that is the topic the subject okay and lastly the description of this particular case okay so that my support team can easily access the case and resolve the issue of this particular customer okay so i think i have provided all the details now i am going to directly click on this button and you will notice as soon as i click on that button a new case will be created here automatically so here you can notice the response is received let me come back and refresh this particular page and wait for that case to be created and here you can notice i hope everything is visible to you the same case is created here we have the case number here we have the subject that is having an issue in the earphones which i have brought from your store and we even have the date and time of, of open okay and if i will click on that subject you will also able to notice the description of that case and here we have all the details okay but here you can notice one more very important thing that is the name of the customer and the email address of the customer is missing okay so now how your support team will get to know that whose customer is having this issue and how they are going to communicate with that customer okay in that case you'll have to add one more extra step in this automation so basically you will have to create a new customer firstly into the salesforce from the google Google Forms responses. Remember, we have all the customers' data. So, firstly, you should create a customer into the Salesforce, and then we are going to create a case for that customer. Okay, so how you can do that? Let me show you. Before your create record step, you will have to add one more step, and again, you will have to search for the Salesforce only because we want to create a customer into the Salesforce application, of course. Okay, and in this time, action even can be create a contact. Okay. Uh, where is contact I'll have to search for that all right so this is the action event that is create a contact and again I am going to connect the Salesforce with the public connect but this time I can go with the existing connection also because I have already provided this access uh, at the previous time okay and here you can notice it is connected once again now simply provide the contact details again from the above data so I am going to map this data asking for the last name well I have the full name not a single name not a first name and last name individually so for now i am mapping the full name only into this last name field and leaving the first name field blank asking for the city so how about i also provide the city as bhopal and where is the email address and the phone number field all right so here we have the phone number field so i think i am providing all the important details of the contact of the customer which are actually necessary okay so i think everything is done now i will click on this button but before for that let me open the contact section of uh, this salesforce so that i can show you how many contacts i already have okay so these are the contacts i already have now i will be clicking on the save and send test request button and once the response is received i will show you the dashboard of salesforce okay so here you can notice the response is received let me go back and let me first refresh it and wait for that user to create it and here you can notice we have the demo user as 
as the customer name now i am going to open that particular customer and let us check the other details okay so here we have the same phone number here we have the same city okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that now we have the customer into our salesforce dashboard okay and now i can easily create salesforce case along with the customer details okay so here you can notice it is asking for several details among which this contact id is also important so when we have created a customer when we have created a contact into the salesforce in the response it has provided me the contact id which i can easily map here and in this way while creating the case into the salesforce it is going to add the customer details also with the help of this contact id okay so let us click on the save and send test request button once again and wait for the case to be created automatically once again but this time along with the customer's details also okay so here you can notice one more case is created with the same topic and description and this time we also have the customer name and if i will directly click on that customer you will notice that the section of contact is open okay so this is how for every new customer for every new query you can now create a cases into the salesforce okay so as soon as a new customer submit this google forms firstly we are going to create that customer into the salesforce i'm sorry salesforce and then we are going to create a case for that customer automatically into the salesforce okay well this automation is all about the new customers okay whenever a new customer is filling out the form how we can create that new customer into the salesforce and how we can create a case for that new customer how about an existing customer is submitting your google forms and for that existing customer you would like to create a new course because in that case of course you're not going to create that customer once again in the salesforce okay so in that case you will have to create this automation slightly different basically you will have to apply a router step okay well router is an amazing feature of pabli connect via which you can set multiple conditions okay and in this router feature you can define two conditions one is for whenever a new customer is filling out the form and another case will be for whenever an existing customer will be filling out this form okay so in that case you will have to follow the same approach which we have followed here but in this existing case you will have to check whether this customer is exist or not okay if that customer is, is already exist we are going to search for that customer id and then we are going to map that existing customer's id into this particular case in on creating a new case into the salesforce okay so just in case if you want to create the same automation in this particular way basically you'll have to define both the cases for new customers as well as for the existing customers you can visit our description box because i have already attached a video into the description box from where you can easily learn how routers can be applied and how this kind of conditions can be applied within this automation okay so this is how you can entirely automate this particular case now every time a new customer is submitting the form the customer will be created first and for that new customer a case will be created here and this is how your support team can easily handle those cases receiving from the customers and and in order to automate this process you need to create this automation inside pabli connect just once after that you can sit back and relax because pabli connect will take care of all the tasks in the back end you do not have to do anything manually and just in case if you want to access this automation inside your public connect account i will also attach this link into my description box simply click on this link and sign up into the public connect and then you will be able to access this workflow this automation inside your public connect account that to for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pabli connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pabli connect and for the latest updates of pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formgate.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to auto made their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video